Norwegian Forest Cat vs Persian Cat. What are the differences between these two cat breeds? The Norwegian Forest Cat is larger than the average cat. The Norwegian Forest Cat is notable for its long, thick, beautiful coat and large size. The head has an inverted triangle shape, pointed at the chin and then widening on each side up toward the medium to large ears, which are heavily tufted. Large, almond-shaped eyes are green, gold, or copper, although white cats may have blue eyes or odd eyes, one blue eye, and one eye of another color. The moderately long body looks powerful, with its broad chest and heavily muscled thighs. Large round paws have tufts of fur between the toes. The bushy tail is as long as the body. The weatherproof double coat varies in length. The bib begins with a short collar at the neck, mutton chops on the side, and a full frontal ruff. Full breeches, long hair on the thighs, cover the hind legs. On the body, the coat is long and flowing, but it changes with the seasons. A Ouija in summer looks relatively naked compared to his full winter glory. The coat comes in almost every color and pattern, with or without white, with the exceptions of chocolate, lavender, or lilac, or a pointed pattern like that of the Siamese. The Persian has a distinctive appearance, a large, round head, large, round eyes, a short nose, full cheeks, and small ears with rounded tips. The head is supported by a short, thick neck and a deceptively sturdy, muscular body, a type known as kabi. A Persian's legs are short, thick, and strong with large, round, firm paws. The tail is short but proportional to the length of the cat's body. A long, thick, shiny coat with a fine texture completes the Persian's look. It's long all over the body and includes an immense ruff around the neck, a deep frill between the front legs, long ear, and toe tufts, and a full brush, or tail. Persians can come in different looks. Some, known as peak face Persians, have an extremely flat face. Think twice about the breathing problems such a cat might have before deciding to get one. Doll face Persians are said to have a more old-fashioned appearance, with a face that is not as flat as the show Persian or the peak face Persian. Persians of all stripes stand out for their infinite variety of coat colors and patterns. Imagine, if you will, seven solid color divisions, white, blue, black, red, cream, chocolate, and lilac, plus silver and golden division colors of chinchilla and shaded silver or golden and blue chinchilla and blue shaded silver or golden, and then there are the shaded, smoke, tabby, calico, particolor and bicolor divisions. That's not counting the various pointed patterns of the Himalayan. Eye color is related to coat color. For instance, white Persians have deep blue or brilliant copper eyes, other solid-colored Persians have brilliant copper eyes, silver and golden Persians have green or blue-green eyes, and so on. The gentle and friendly Norwegian forest cat, Wije, for short, is fond of family members but does not demand constant attention and petting. He is satisfied to be in the same room with people and will entertain himself if no one is home. Although he appreciates the human company, he can be a bit reserved with visitors. Even with family, he's not much of a lap cat, but a nice scritch between the ears or beneath the chin is always welcome, and he'll usually reciprocate with a nice head butter cheek rub. He communicates with classic Scandinavian restraint. His quiet voice is employed only when he needs something dinner on time, perhaps, and rises only if he is ignored. Not surprisingly, this large and athletic cat is a climber. You will often find him at the highest point he can reach in the home, and unlike some cats, he doesn't have any qualms about descending trees or other heights headfirst. Thanks to his heritage as a wilderness and farm cat, not to mention his waterproof coat, the Ouija thinks nothing of fishing in a body of water for a nice meal. While he loves the outdoors, he is content to live quietly in a home. This is a smart, independent cat who learns quickly and has an alert nature. He likes to play and thrives with a busy family that loves him. The dignified and docile Persian is known for being quiet and sweet. She is an ornament to any home where she can enjoy sitting in a lap, surely her rightful place, being petted by those who are discerning enough to recognize her superior qualities, and playing house with kind children who will gently comb her hair, will her around in a baby buggy, then serve her tea at their parties. Persians are affectionate but discriminating. They reserve their attention for family members and those few guests whom they feel they can trust. Loud environments aren't a Persian style, they are sedate cats who prefer a serene home where little changes from day to day. With large, expressive eyes and a voice that has been described as soft, pleasant, and musical, Persians let their simple needs be known, regular meals, a little playtime with a catnip mouse or feather teaser, and lots of love, which they return tenfold. This is one cat who is unlikely to climb up your curtains, jump on your kitchen counters, or perch on top of your refrigerator. She is perfectly happy to rule her domain from the floor or more accessible pieces of furniture. When you are at work or are busy around the house, 
The Persian is content to adorn a chair, sofa, or bed until you are free to admire her and give her the attention she willingly receives but never demands. Hello! This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. Brush or comb the Norwegian forest cat's long coat once or twice a week, using a bristle brush, wire slicker brush, or stainless steel comb. If you run across tangles, work them out gently so you don't hurt the cat. A bath is rarely necessary, which is a good thing. With the Ouija's practically waterproof coat, it can be very difficult to get him wet enough for a bath. If possible, build your Ouija a large outdoor enclosure where he can enjoy the elements safely. He is certainly built to survive a cold climate. The most important thing to understand about caring for a Persian is the need for daily grooming. That long, beautiful coat doesn't stay clean and tangle-free on its own. It must be gently but thoroughly combed and brushed every day, and regular bathing, at least once a month, is a good idea. Excessive tearing can be a problem in this breed. Brush the teeth to prevent periodontal disease. Daily dental hygiene is best, but weekly brushing is better than nothing. Wipe the corners of the eyes daily with a soft, damp cloth to remove any discharge. Use a separate area of the cloth for each eye so you don't run the risk of spreading any infection. Check the ears weekly. If they look dirty, wipe them out with a cotton ball or soft damp cloth moistened with a 50 to 50 mixture of cider vinegar and warm water. Avoid using cotton swabs, which can damage the interior of the ear. Keep the litter box spotlessly clean. Like all cats, they are very particular about bathroom hygiene. A clean litter box will also help to keep their fur clean. It's a good idea to keep a Norwegian forest cat and Persian cat as an indoor-only cat to protect them from diseases spread by other cats, attacks by dogs or coyotes, and the other dangers that face cats who go outdoors, such as being hit by a car. Cats who go outdoors also run the risk of being stolen by someone who would like to have such an unusual cat without paying for it. The friendly, laid-back Norwegian forest cat is a perfect choice for families with children and cat-friendly dogs. He loves the attention he receives from children who treat him politely and with respect, and he doesn't mind playing dress-up or going for a ride in a baby buggy. He is happy to live with other cats and cat-friendly dogs, too, thanks to his amiable disposition. Persians aren't the best choice for a house full of boisterous children and dogs, but they have no objection to being the object of a gentle child's attention or to rubbing along with a friendly dog who doesn't chase them or otherwise cause them anxiety. Introduce pets slowly and in controlled circumstances to ensure that they learn to get along together. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.